Is someone going to introduce me, or do I get to introduce myself? I, I can introduce myself. Okay. Sometimes here at the Conscious Life, they introduce me, so I'll have to uh, ad lib it. Okay. I've known me for a long time, about 70 some years. <laughs> I, I grew up as a mathematician, I was very much into creativity. And uh, one of my greatest joys as a kid was getting those ahas and solving math problems. And uh, now, uh, after having an out-of-body experience in 1970 and a kundalini experience in 1971, it propelled me into having to fast to maintain uh, functioning in this world. My body became super purified, and I became extremely sensitive to anything negative in the world. I had to be very careful. I couldn't drink anything but pure water, couldn't use normal soap. Uh, everything I ate affected me tremendously, so I, I had to eat the purest of the pure. I was almost a fruitarian, and uh, it was a wonderful experience. If you've ever read uh, Kierkegaard's Fear and Trembling, he was an existential philosopher. When I read it, I could relate to it, and not many people can. So I, I went through some uh, real intense purification back in those early days. And, uh, you know, it's sometimes you just uh, you plug into what is required of what you need to do. So I, I couldn't do math after another year. I just, I just couldn't function doing mathematics. It was no longer fulfilling. And Pythagoras was one of the first mathematicians. He's the one that's the father of modern mathematics. And most people don't realize that another name for Pythagoras was the son of Apollo. Uh, in other words, he was a great spiritual master. He had students. He taught them to listen to the five melodies uh, of the spheres, which is the inner sound. He said everything vibrates. Everything is, is number. Numbers are divine realities. When you learn the law of three, the law, law of one, the law of two, duality. Um, and here we have the relaxed sauna. And I, I would say in the, the, top, the topic of my talk today is spiritual purification using far infrared saunas. And uh, the subtitle is being in the relaxed sauna is like being in the presence of a Qigong master. Uh, later on, at tomorrow from 5 to 5.45, I'll be giving a talk on Qigong energy and far infrared saunas. So, uh, don't have to hold that paper anymore. Uh, in, my, in my journey into inner awareness, uh, one learns that the a purified body makes it much easier for you to contact that part of yourself within you that's connected to all of life. Uh, this to me is sort of like a secret. It's a secret. I like what Swami Bhyanda Nanda says about the, uh, uh, he says, there is no key to the universe. That's the bad news. The good news, it's not locked. And it is. <laughs> <laughs> And, and so basically, uh, I would say that the relaxed sauna helps you unlock the, that connection, you know, and it's that real connection you want to get in tune with that, uh, you know, helps you rise above all the beliefs and all the programming that you were born with that you brought in from other lifetimes. Uh, you know, I, uh, I'm, I, I like to say that there's nothing I believe and there's nothing I don't believe. <laughs> In other words, believe, when you believe something, it means you don't know something. And I don't like to not know. And I know in, my, in my, all my knowingness that, that I know all. Sometimes I'm just not aware of it. That's the, the, my problem. And that's uh, something that we all need to resolve. I, I would love to be able to... You know, in a sense, you know, when you, when you finally accept that everything is perfect and everything is doing okay, acceptance is a key. I used to say reason comes after the fact. That means when you finally embrace what is happening, you accept what is, and you don't complain about what isn't or what wasn't, 
then it's just a question of time before you understand because you're not blocking the understanding because you're not in denial of what is. So th this, is, this is what I'm all about. I am actually writing a book called Pictures of the Mind. Uh, the subtitle is, is Freeing Yourself from Beliefs That No Longer Serve You. And, uh, you know, one needs to get in touch with one's beliefs and look at the pictures you're looking at. You know, there's unconscious pictures that are controlling you. I was telling someone a couple years ago that you're a slave to your beliefs. There's also, and, and she was, huh, I don't know if I can buy that. I said, well, it's not for sale. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> there's a book called Biology of Belief. And uh, uh, by Bruce Lipton, who I've met a number of times. He grew up with a good friend of mine. Um, and basically, when you believe something, every cell in your body acts as if it's true. Now, if you look at the word belief in the English language, it's very humorous. You know, I like to jokingly say I can prove that every belief is a lie. Because how do you spell belief? B-E-L-I-E-F. And believe also is B-E-L-I-E-V-E. -E -E. So anytime you believe something, just remember it's temporary. It's not true. It's a lie. It's, it's a stepping stone to get you to the diving board. And then you jump off into the abyss. And then after you jump off into the abyss, it's sort of scary. And finally, you just accept it. And, and then there's a, there's a force, like a, a winged pegasus. It just comes and picks you up and surfs you into like the vortex you know, you go through the vortex, you're burnt to a crisp, and then you come out on the other side pure uh, of what you are. See, you exist as soul. There is no time and space. There is no time and space. Everything, and the beliefs are just mock-ups. You know, you, you create your own universe. It's all made up. You make it up. You make the rules. You make all the laws. And this is hard to accept. But you don't have to accept it. In time, it's your, uh, your destiny to recognize. So I'm into realization, real rather than believing. Like real eyes, E-Y-E-S, real eyes, realize, don't conceptual lies, L-I-E-S. Again, that word lie is, uh, is like an antithesis to realizing and knowingness. So I will get into far infrared ray energy pretty soon and the saunas. But this is coming through now because this is, this is important for what I feel the world needs to hear. And it's part of the book that I'm writing. And I'm excited to present this information now. And then, and then relate it all to the spiritual purification that happens when you get into the relaxed sauna. See, Pythagoras was a spiritual master. He taught uh, spirituality through mathematics. That was the art Socrates said there's a purification of soul, again the word purification, that happens when you do mathematics. Now mathematics at the time was divided into four classes, figures in motion, figures at rest, uh, numbers uh, in motion, and numbers at rest. Now numbers in motion is called harmony or music. Who would have believed that music is an aspect of mathematics? Figures in motion is called stereometry, which is another name for astrology and astronomy. And figures at rest is called geometry, and numbers at rest is called uh, numerology. So these are the four aspects of mathematics. The divine realities is the music of the spheres. When you go into the relaxed sauna, magic happens. Water cells are far infrared molecules. Human bodies our far infrared energies. When we find an energy that resonates at the same energy as us, it magnifies us. When we go into the relaxed sauna or any far infrared sauna or any infrared sauna in general, it generates an energy that resonates with the water cells in your body. It resonates with all the human cells in your body. And again, it's a connection. It connects you to that. It's a special kind of energy. The Relax Sauna Company, for example, it took them 10 years, 10 years to figure out how to filter out 
the near infrared and the mid infrared and all the energies that are not far infrared that resonate with your cells in your body. Any infrared sauna is helpful and beneficial, but the percentage of far infrared ray, the more far infrared ray you can get into the sauna, the more effective it is. The Relax Sauna Company uh, in Taiwan, uh, I think around 1996, seven, eight, took them 10 years to figure out from 10 years before to discover a way to get that filtration system working through a semiconductor chip technology and generate about 98% pure far infrared ray energy. And when that energy hits you, it's, it's magical. The, there's a, a book called The Fourth Phase of Water by Gerald Pollack. He has a video on YouTube. And he said accidentally in his, his laboratory, uh, they found out that the fourth phase of water, they, I forget the name they called it, but it's a special kind of water that's on the border of water, on the boundary of it. And it's activated by light because they noticed that there was more of it when the lamp was shining on it. And then they did a lot of research and found out that infrared in particular, especially far infrared energy, resonates with the water stronger and has more of an effect. So when this energy, this is energy medicine, oh, would someone like to get into the sauna right now? Uh, go on in, and, and uh, Enoch will put you in. And uh, we do this at every talk I give, and people get to experience it, and you get to see secondhand the wow, the ahas, of something's, something's very special. You take off your shoes, please. Yeah. So at any rate, I'll continue. So the, the energy coming out of the far infrared sauna or the relaxed sauna specifically resonates with the water cells. So with this resonating of the water cells, okay, the, it resonating, that means it, it's, it's shaking because the, the, according to Gerald Pollack in his book, there's an energy uh, part of the cell, I, I believe it's called the mitochondria, that's especially receptive to the, to the energy of the far infrared energy, and it, it, uh, it energizes the cell. The mitochondria creates energy because it, the light is transformed to help the cell move, and you have the movement of the water cells. The movement or the pulsation of the water cells, you have water, two hydrogens and an oxygen. The oxygen is the vertex of the angle with the hydrogens on the other side. So that angle with the pulsation of the water molecule gets smaller. Are you saying that the angle vibrates? Yes, the whole water molecule vibrates and that causes the angle to get smaller. You mean it's vibrating across on an average angle that's smaller? Normally it's about 105 degrees. Right. And it, it, That, that's my understanding. I, I could be wrong, but, but all I know is that for some reason, uh, the, the research says that it, the angle gets smaller, and I get a degree in mathematics. I don't know much about... Oh, no, yeah. Yes. So, right, of course. And like when you test EMF, you know, in any kind of the electromagnetic frequencies, it's always going to fluctuate because it's, it's a change. And so that's why when we discuss electromagnetic frequencies, We'll, we'll get into that same concept of it's changing up and down. But that's a very good point, you know, to, to point out. So your, how is this well, the, the mitochondria creates uh, ATP and nitric oxide. And the, and the, uh, the energy of the cell uh, absorbs the far infrared light and it causes the, the cell to create energy. And so all your cells are energized by the pulsating of all the water molecules. I like to use the... Yes. Well, it, it's it, in a sense, uh, yes, it is because the mitochondria, mitochondria now create more ATP than they normally would. It, exactly. It catalyzes your whole body. And that's why when you are describing what the lamp did to you, the little 250-watt lamp, or the 200 watt lamp, it's, that's the catalyzing of your cells 
and like it's very magical and that's why I say there's like a spiritual purification that happens because it just doesn't cleanse you physically and, and uh, physically and it also activates the parasympathetic nervous system which sort of tunes you in to the emotional and mental energies inside the body because all the bodies the mind and the emotions and the physical body are all interconnected. They're all, see, there is no space and time. Remember, we're taught that in, in physics. There is no space and time. There's only now. And, and the, the mental body or the mind is interwoven with the emotional body and the physical body, so they're all sort of half connected. You know, they're, they're, it's like it's all in time and space. All our bodies are connected, and, and we, as a soul, has just like we go into a car, our bodies go into a car, we, our bodies we put clothes on, then we go into a car, and then the car we put in a garage. It, it's like, you know, we wear these bodies. So the soul has a mind we take on, we take on an emotional body, and then we take on a physical body. And it's the same analogy as us putting on clothes and then going into a car and then going into a garage. And these, these protect us, you know. And we, right now we live in a very, very, very polluted world. I like to say back in the 1960s, normal Finnish saunas were great. They cleansed and purified you. You sweated. Hippocrates said, and also so did Parmenides. You know, they're both attributed to having said this. Maybe they both did, maybe they didn't. These are ancient Greeks, yes. And, and what they said is that Find me a way to create sweat or fever, and I will cure disease. So take Hippocrates, put him in the United States of America, and get him on a street corner saying that, and he'll be put in jail because the only thing you can cure legally in the United States, I think, is beef. Because <laughs> you cannot cure things because it's against the law for some reason. But in reality... What we want to do is we want to root out the core belief that you believe that, is, that you're a slave to, that is affecting your body, that is affecting your behavior. In other words, all your behavior is a reflection of your belief system. So if we can become aware of the pictures in your head and the pictures in your mind, if you can become aware of them, you know, in, in massage therapy classes, they say there's an issue in your tissue. When you have a pain, it's related to a picture that's the issue in your tissue. All post-traumatic uh, stress syndrome is, is a, is a non-acceptance of what just happened. It's not being able to totally embrace the, the here and now. And, and some of it, it's hard to embrace, you know, the horrors of war or just anything that's horrendous that happens in your life. And so there's many shades of gray of everything that ever happened in your life where you reacted and you couldn't totally accept. And so when you can't totally embrace something, it creates a picture and an issue. And those are all things, like if you look at all your past lives, they say, I don't know this from personal experience, but they say it's like a deck of car playing cards. And, and one card will, will like stick out more. And it, it's like... <laughs> I won't say I have tooth problems, you know, but, but a lot of times when I eat food, you get stuff caught in your teeth, and you finally get something out of this part of your teeth, and then all of a sudden, wow, there's another issue in, it, in another part of the teeth. And, and so this is what, when you, when you read past lives, there's always an issue which is the most important. If you go to a, a holistic health conference, a, a functional medicine conference, you go to the exhibit hall, they always have some kind of machine that says, oh, you have all these issues, and this one is, is way bigger or way more pronounced. So you always have issues in your life. It's like that's, see, there is no beginning and there is no end. That's something that I experienced realizing this the other day, and it's profound. Experiencing it is different than knowing it and believing it, okay? But it's like, there, it's like you, you, you finally realize if there's no end, this is going to go on forever and ever. And it's hell until we finally realize that we just have to enjoy the moment. And once you enjoy the moment, then there's another moment. And then there's another moment. And each moment is full of joy. And that's all you do throughout eternity. You just enjoy the moments. And every time, you become freer and freer and freer. And it's, 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 it's like, you know, you can't 
ever have what you want. And that's because when you want something, become aware of the picture you're looking at. The picture is showing yourself not having it. So that's what you're going to get. You get what you picture. So you have to recognize, you, already, you just have to go on as if you already have it and be grateful for having it. You trick it by being grateful of having it because there is no time and space anyway. Who now would like to go into the relaxed sauna? There's always six or seven. It's your turn. Go on in. And go in the relax. Oh, yes. Tell me what happened when you got in the relax sauna. How do you feel? Lighter, yeah. Well, you know, it's funny because it is invisible light energy. <laughs> so it makes sense you would feel lighter. That's why people lose weight because they feel lighter after they get out. <laughs> it's, it's like a, almost like a, a, a euphoric, a, a, a touch of euphoria. It's the beginning stages of euphoria. Yeah, in an hour, all of a sudden, you say, gee, how come I feel? We had some guy come into our store in, at the Momentum 98 Health Store in Columbus, Ohio. Some guy came in. He'd been at one of the shows. He went in. It was nice. And he went in. His friend got in, and I finally said, why don't you go in? He said, well, I've been in before, but okay, I'll go in. He went in for seven minutes, just like you. Then he went walking. It was the farmer's market. He came back 20 minutes later and said, I cannot believe how good I feel. I cannot believe. And he bought it. You know, it, it's like, see, there, there's, there's a, see, people say, I don't understand it. I feel more energized, and yet I feel more relaxed. And they think that's an oxymoron. But what, what happens is, see, most of us, when we, we do coffee, I don't do coffee. I quit 50 years ago after being a coffee addict. I started when I was age 12, from 12 to 20. <laughs> I quit five cups a day. That was my max. And uh, I've been coffee-free for 50 years. <laughs> this <laughs> I, I did after one day in fourth grade. I mean, no, eighth grade. Eighth grade, I did four cigarettes in eighth grade, one day. And the way I felt in my tummy, I don't ever want to feel that again. In my head, between a tummy ache and a headache, it wasn't worth it. Everyone else in my family smoked, and I didn't. Now, there was a time when I was against smoking. But there's a, a famous quote by Paul Twitchell, being for or against anything exiles you from the God consciousness state. And, and actually, it, that's the poetic version. You know, it's the attachment of being for or against. And I, I've, I've mellowed this down. I've, I've changed it a little bit for the general public. Being for or against anything locks you into duality. See, when you're locked into duality, then you have no freedom. Are you for or against being for or against being? <laughs> I ain't. <laughs> I don't believe in anything, and, I don't, and there's nothing I don't believe. <laughs> well, I have, to, I have to be detached from it. <laughs> see, yeah. You, you, just, you see, you try real hard, and then you give up, and then it comes to you. But you have to have that effort that you put out. That's, that's the, chutzpah, the chutzpah, the whatever. And then finally you get so frustrated, you say, I don't care anymore, and just live your life, and then it happens. See, that's, that's the process. That's what the whole law of attraction is all about. Uh, in, in the book, uh, I think, Dialogues with the Master, Paul Twitchell says, uh, at first there's the pure desire, then you get attached, and finally when you let go of your attachment, then your pure desire comes to you. You experience it. It's the, it's the wanting. It's the clinging. Oh, those terrible words, clinging and wanting. <laughs> but but that's, that's part of the process. See, what most people don't realize, they, they're all confused. There are eight phases of the moon. Okay? And people are saying, this is the way it is. Yeah, that's the way it is when you live in the third phase of the moon. But you, when you live in the sixth phase of the moon, you don't want to do that. I'm just using sixth phase and third phase randomly. But everyone says something, and yes, and it's, there's a process. When I give you directions and I say, go to the street light, turn right, 
uh, and then two blocks later, turn left. I said, wait a second, you told me to turn right, now you're telling me to turn left. That contradicts. I said, well, in time and space, it's not a contradiction. In, in no time space, it is a contradiction. You know, Aristotelian logic says P and not P cannot be true. You can't have a statement and the opposite of the statement true at the same time. But at different times, you can. So that's sort of like, you know, and, and incidentally, you know, uh, we're, we're going to be talking about far infrared ray energy. I have another probably, I hope at least another hour, 45 minutes left. People, there is so much confusion about far infrared energy right now in this world. It is, oh my gosh, it's like our political system in the world. It's, it's a little crazy. And, and, you know, the, the whole idea is like, I'm presenting the relaxed sauna. I'm giving our history. I'm saying we have a thousand testimonies on YouTube. I've put over a hundred thousand people in the relaxed sauna. And, uh, and, you know, what does far infrared energy do? I started to talk about that. And that's the way I talk. It's like I jump around and then I get distracted, but it's not really a distraction. I call it guided because eventually I'm gonna come around full circle and, and everything that I've ever talked about at the beginning of this talk will come to full circle and you'll be able to understand it. And this is the way it, it's, it, this is my, my learning technique that comes through me that, that I've learned works for me. And this, I've been like this all my life and people used to complain sometimes when I used to teach mathematics. How was that? <laughs> Nice, and it's legal in all 50 states. <laughs> do you, uh, well, you know, do you still feel good? Yeah, I do. Do you feel better? Or nothing yet. You haven't had any. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's sometimes when you're walking, all of a sudden you feel better. But it, but it's a beautiful experience. So how do you feel? Yeah. How'd you feel before? Good. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Thankful, relaxing, healing, yeah. It, do, you know, do you know why it's called the relaxed sauna? <laughs> I think you told me. Because <laughs> it relaxes you. Yeah, it took me 10 years of promoting that. When, when I asked a person who came out of the sauna, how do you feel? Relaxed. Next woman came out of the sauna, how do you feel? Relaxed. Next woman comes out of the sauna. How do you feel? Relaxed. And I said, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, it's, it's called the relaxed sauna. And that's what I was saying earlier. It activates the parasympathetic nervous system more so than any other sauna because what it does, it's pulsating the water molecules. Okay, because uh, it's resonating with them. It's activating the mitochondria to create ATP and nitric oxide, energizing the cell. So because the water molecules are pulsating, the water cells we talked about get smaller. So if the water cells and hence the blood cells, which comprise mainly of water, get smaller, what's going to happen to the blood circulation? Yeah, it, that's another thing it does. It oxygenates the cells, and the oxygen in the body will kill the pathogens and the anaerobic bacteria. That's another factor. Yes. It, it gets reactivated. Well, see, what happens is if you increase the core temperature of the body through, through the... See, if you have 100 people in a small room dancing, it's going to get hot. If you have all your water cells pulsating your body temperature is going to get hot. That's why Hippocrates and Parmenides said, find me a way to create sweat or fever, and, and I will cure disease. So as your body is one of the best things in the world. You know, they say in, there's like a, a dichotomy. The nutrition people say nutrition is very, very important, and then the exercise buffs say exercise is important. Well, far infrared energy is actually what it causes in the body is movement. Exercise is a subset of movement. 
it's not exercise which is important, it's the movement of the cells. And the movement of the cells and detoxifying the body and cleansing the body, activating the, the whole um, a lymphatic system of the body to detoxify the body, that makes it easier for you to absorb nutrients now. So you need, the nutrients can now be absorbed when before because the mercury was in the body and that's where the magnesium belongs. But the mercury was there, so you get the mercury out and now you can absorb nutrients. So you need movement. You need the lymphatic system to be activated. It's just the heat on the outside. Right. Well, it's the far infrared. The far infrared actually penetrates one and a three quarter, two inches into the body, uh, and that pulsates the water molecules and, and basically activates every cell of the body. The, it, it increases the core temperature, yes. It's, it's called, like Ben Gay, you, you can feel the deep penetrating the warmth. You go out on a, on a hot day or a cold day. You've got a winter cold on a cold day. The sun is really hot. You close your eyes, and oh, it feels so good inside your body. You can feel the deep penetrating warmth going through your winter coat to your core. That's what this feels like. Now, you know, turtle eggs, they hatch. Snake eggs, they hatch. Well, how do they hatch? They're in the sand. The fire infrared energy goes through the sand and resonates with the water in turtle eggs or snake eggs and causes the embryo to get warm and, and, and grow and activate and grow into a turtle or a snake. I, I like to say the chickens cheat. They lie on the eggs. And it's the fire infrared energy from the, human, from the chicken's body that causes the water cells to resonate. When you hug someone, you can feel their far infrared energy. That's the warmth you feel. It's not heat, it's, it's, it's the resonating energy. You know, when you see someone from maybe 30 feet away who you feel very fondly for and you haven't seen in a while, you feel this tingling sensation, you feel this whatever, that's a resonating energy. That's, a, that's the, you can feel the far infrared energy coming from them. We are far infrared energy emitters we only emit far infrared energy. We only absorb far infrared energy. Water is the same. Water does not absorb far near infrared energy. Okay? If near infrared, you know, people say, well, I have a far infrared energy machine, and all the, a lot of the sauna companies are saying, okay, let's get a near infrared red light or near infrared light, you know, and, and so they're, they're doing far infrared and now near infrared, and they're thinking, well, the whole idea is the more far you have, the more it's going to resonate and detoxify your body. So if you're going to detoxify yourself physically, emotionally, and mentally, and hence have spiritual purification, the more far infrared you have, the more effective the sauna can be. And, and there's, there's a man who's a little concerned about EMF, but he does say, on many of his YouTube videos, the more far infrared ray you have in the sauna, that's what you want. And that's my experience, because only the far infrared resonates with the water cells, because the water cell vibrates at eight microns. Humans vibrate around 9.4 microns. So if you can get between four and 14 microns, in astrology they call it, uh, it's, it's conjunct, you know, like when the sun is conjunct the moon, it's, you know, it's, it resonates, and so it makes it stronger. So the, the far infrared energy coming at us resonates with our cells. It does five things. It pulsates the water molecules, increases core temperature, it mobilizes the lymphatic system, it increases microcirculation, activates the parasympathetic system, and gets the mitochondria to create ATP and nitric oxide. And all those things causes the body to cleanse and purify. Yes? Okay, infrared, okay, fr from, uh, I brought my, well, anyways, uh, you have, the sun generates energy, okay? It generates ultraviolet, cosmic rays, x-rays, uh, gamma rays, infrared rays. Now, infrared can be divided into near, closer to visible light, mid, uh, next, and then far. 
and then after, and far is from four microns to a thousand microns. And then you have the microwaves. Now, a microwave device, this in some way causes damage to the cells of the body. Okay? Now, you know, they say that microwave ovens for many years is something you want to be aware of. You don't want to be too close to your TV screen. So microwave energy is something with, uh, according to this guy at the Psychotronics Conference, and we have a, a YouTube video on him, he said the cell phone generates microwave energy. And, and, and like what I was talking to Dr. Klinghart, and, and basically what this guy says, I forget his name, but uh, is, I have about a 15-minute interview. He has a sauna, a relaxed sauna he loves. He's had it for 14 years. He talks about how it helped his dad a lot as well. But the, the microwave energy is not a really healthy energy, and it's way different than household appliance energy. You're not afraid of your household appliances. How many people ask when they get a refrigerator, well, what's the EMF of my refrigerator? What's the EMF of my video recorder? What's the EMF of my computer? What's the, you know, but then all of a sudden, there's a big thing, and, and yes, some people are sensitive to EMF, but the key is far infrared energy, and the more you have of it, it antidotes the damage of, of, of previous damage you've had from being exposed to uh, nuclear radiation to uh, microwave radiation and some people I mean a jackhammer that's that's not microwave but that's to me very irritating <laughs> you know I mean you listen to a jackhammer or you know and some people in in their in their work you know maybe they they work at a steel mill or something and there's heavy industry and you come home you know and you're a little rattled then you go into the relaxed sauna and you're better I mean, every one of you who came into there, you know, felt better after coming out of the relaxed sauna. The relaxed sauna undoes the damage of being in a polluted world. Now, when you, when you get rid of the pollution in your body, in your physical body, now, why would you think that the emotional body and the, and the mind, which are intertwined with your physical body in this world of space and time, Remember, you exist outside of time and space, but you have a body. And the purification that happens when, you, when your emotional body is in the presence, why do you think that there wouldn't be the same kind of cleansing emotionally, the relaxing? See, when you, get, when you activate the parasympathetic nervous system and get out of fight and flight mode and get into being in the zone mode, and then you have the perspective it cleanses you emotionally. When you get out of flight and fight mode and you get in the zone where there you are, right there, and you can just sit and relax and bask in the presence of this, of being in the womb, of being hugged by your loving grandma, of basking in divine love, of being in the presence of a, of a great spiritual being who does not judge you, who totally accepts you, then you feel tuned in and cleansed, and that's the purification. And, a, and then that's the state you want to be able to go into. Now, when you go into here and you experience this state, there's a lady who's got a $5,000 wooden sauna, and she was at a mental health conference, an integrative medical, mental health, about a year and a half ago. And she came down in her bathing suit, and she got in the relaxed sauna and after in her bathing suit for 30 minutes and had a nice sweat. She came back about an hour later and says, Phil, after about 8 to 10 minutes in the relaxed sauna, I experienced the most profound, deepest relaxation that I've ever had in my life. And she's had a wooden infrared sauna, a good one, one of the best, for five years. There is something special that goes on. We have about five or six or seven videos on YouTube where one lady said that her heart, she could feel it instantly in her heart where her heart was radiating. Her heart was radiating 
uh, instantly, because some people are more aware. See, the more aware you are spiritually, we go to these conferences like the Conscious Life Expo here, we come into a lot of people who, are, who have, you know, either come into this lifetime very, you know, from all their past life that they've done, or have, have had to, you know, remember all this and have been trained in this lifetime to be sensitive to the, to the frequencies of this world when they come into the relaxed sauna. 90% of them, you can't get everyone, you know, but 90% of them say, oh my gosh, I can't believe this energy. See, again, they can't believe. <laughs> In other words, it goes beyond their belief system. It's an anomaly because it feels good. You, in other words, it gets you, you feel good when everything you've ever believed, when you're feeling good, are you worrying about what you believe? <laughs> when you're feeling tuned in, you're not even thinking about it. You're just enjoying the moment. You're in the moment of time. There's only one moment, and that's now. People a lot, a lot of times say, you only have one life, lifetime, so you have to enjoy it now. Well, no, you, there's only one moment, and you need to enjoy it. It doesn't matter whether you have a thousand lifetimes or one lifetime. In every moment is to be enjoyed. I don't believe in drudgery. I don't believe in guilt. Those things take you out of the moment. This gets you into the moment. That's where spiritual purification happens, by being able to get into the moment. And of all the pinnacle of my health food store that I've had since 1980 in Columbus, Ohio, called Momentum 98 Natural Health Store, we've had it there since 1980. And I, I'm into superfoods, spirulina, chlorella, blue-green allergy, Chinese mushrooms, Chinese herbs, uh, Ayurvedic herbs, all these wonderful products, oxygen products. Uh, ozone, you name it, all these wonderful different kinds of products you can use. This, the Relax Sauna, is the pinnacle of all the products I've ever sold to help you get into the moment. And the magic happens when you can get into the moment, and I don't know anything that, that gets you into the moment as quickly as the Relax Sauna does. You can go into any other wooden sauna, any other portable sauna, and it takes you between 5 and 20 minutes to 30 to 40 minutes to feel what the relaxed sauna does in 30 seconds. And you start sweating in eight minutes in the relaxed sauna, and usually it's 20, if you have to go into the preheat for 20, 30 minutes, it's usually 30, 40 minutes before you start sweating in any other sauna. Now, all the saunas are good. Dr. Sherry Rogers, in her book, Detoxify or Die, talked about all the wonders. If you go into these $200 portable saunas, you get people who rave about it. Well, if you've been driving a bicycle, all your life, and you get into a Ford Pinto, you're going to be totally amazed and tell all your friends how wonderful it is. When you go into a Mercedes, you're going to say, the Ford Pinto was nice, but the Mercedes was incredible. How was that, young lady? <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the, yes. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so you get the outside heat of the heat, and then you have the inside. Uh, it, it's like a flower blooming. It's coming from within, and you start generating more and more. Yeah, good. I mean, it... it I guess you can overdrink water. Some lady drank too much water and died in Seattle, but, but it... <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the main contraindication of it is dehydration. So I drink about 12 ounces of water before I go in every morning. And after I get out, I'll drink about 12 or 16 ounces more. And then on spa day for fill, that's a special kind of thing. It's called spa day for fill, because that's my name. I go in for 20 minutes. I go out, you know, after get sweat, do the water. Then I either take a shower or I... I I wait three or four minutes, I go back in and do another 20 minutes sweat. And then I do it a third time. And I feel like I've been at the spa for nine hours. I feel good. I feel incredible. I feel invigorated. There's, there's nothing, we're at booth 407, by the way, downstairs. Okay, yeah. And, and so this is one of the, the, the finest, I mean, <laughs> it's just, oh my gosh, you know, it feels so good and you feel so cleansed and so tuned in and so much in the now. See, it's when you get into the now 
And the more you learn to get in the now, in the present moment, and to embrace the present moment and totally enjoy it, that's the spiritual purification that goes on. And it's, it's, it's life transforming. It's life transforming physically, emotionally, and mentally. It's unbelievable how many people, you know, feel so much better. Because you're getting to experience what she was experiencing and raving about, and you had no clue. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It, it's, it, that's, that's exactly how it works. It, it's like, you know, it, it's, you, you, it's like, the, how do you describe the relaxed sauna? Well, it's a cross between five things. Yeah. You uh, are uh, basking in divine love. You're being hugged by your loving grandma. You're... You're in the womb, you're on a beach in Hawaii, or you're in the presence of a Qigong master or a great guru. <laughs> and, it, and it feels very good, and I'm, I'm, uh, I, I've had a, a good time talking uh, about the relaxed sauna and about what makes it so special and about fire and fred energy in general. Uh, and what it does for you, and it, it's, uh, like I said, I've been using it for 18 years, almost every morning. Uh, it puts a cup of coffee to shame in the morning, it puts a hot tub to shave to shame at midnight on a full moon outside. It's uh, very therapeutic, it's very, uh, it's, it's been uh, really, really very therapeutic. Well, you know, if you have a diabetic ulcer, or, or there's a lady who had MRSA, uh, there's one lady who uh, had bought a relaxed sauna from us and was promoting a $37,000 uh, kind of sauna, and, but she said, I bought your lamp and I used it on my mom, or my grandma, and she had MRSA and she had a deep wound, and eight months of antibiotics couldn't do a thing for the MRSA, but five weeks of using the lamp on the MRSA got rid of the MRSA and got rid of the wound. Okay, I don't have diabetic ulcers, but I do get diabetes. Um, it, there's a doctor in New Jersey who raves about how it hel has helped diabetes. If you have diabetes, then one thing you want to be aware of is that uh, you may not need as much insulin. <laughs> if, uh, I insulin. Okay, then great, yeah. Then, then I would suspect, you know, that you will find... Your health will improve and miracles can happen using the relaxed sauna. You're going to see, that's right. <laughs> there is a, a one year warranty on the relaxed sauna, but don't let that fool you. Uh, we have many people on the internet, on YouTube videos, saying they've had this relaxed sauna 12, 13, 15, 16 years. Um, you know, we, we say it'll work in a, it'll last five to seven years in a clinical setting, but many people report it lasts a lot longer. Uh, we're very pleased with it. It's made in Taiwan. It was in, uh, the company in Taiwan is over 40 years old. It took them 10 years to, it's an electrical company. A Japanese company says, can you find an energy that will generate chi like in the uh, hot springs in southern Japan? They said, sure. 10 years later, they had the aha. And it, it took, and that's why the relaxed sauna uses that uh, that radiator, the two double radiators that that are your feet are near, and this is not uh, carbon panels. Uh, the guy who wrote on Reddit.com, he said that he tested out uh, an Amazon sauna for two hundred dollars, and found out it only increased core temperature a half degree. He got a five hundred dollar Amazon Amazon sauna, portable one that was touted to be one of the best. No difference. He got the relaxed sauna. And it not only replicated, but it exceeded the expectations. It increased core temperature 3.2 degrees. There's a doctor, Paul Anderson, who has a cancer clinic in uh, Seattle. He, has, uh, he can increase core temperature 4.2 degrees, putting people in the relaxed sauna during cancer uh, IV therapy. How's that feel? I feel great. You feel great? I really do. <laughs> You feel good. Wait till later. You feel better. It's, it's still interacting in your body. Okay, so you can yeah. feel better. Yeah, you're going to feel a lot After better because it's still working in your body. Right. Mm -hmm. So it would be good. Um, my plan is not tonight. I can't buy that tonight, but I'm going to buy it. Yeah. What are the lamps? The, the lamps will work. 
Yeah, just put it on you, in front of you. Yeah. Yes, many people use it for getting rid of pain and inflammation. You know, pick up the literature, you know, more literature at the booth. I didn't bring you the 24-page booklet. Yeah, it's a booth 407. I'm going to conclude my talk, you know, in about 30 seconds. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for showing up. Uh, it's re relax saunas with an S dot com. Relax saunas with an S, plural, dot com. Uh, go there. Uh, and uh, I'm going to give away a secret code. If you use the code Phil, now the, the discount downstairs is a little more, but you can get $50 off the sauna if you, if you put in the discount code Phil when you order, P-H-I-L, it'll give you $50 off the cost of the sauna. The relaxed sauna is the $2,000 sauna. It is not a $200 or a $500 Amazon sauna. It is not an $850 sauna. They all use carbon panels. Some use stones as well, but they do not have the relaxed sauna energy, the relaxed sauna generated. They cannot do what the relaxed sauna does. Uh, the relaxed sauna will help, uh, will antidote EMF more than any other sauna because it's got about f five to nine times more far infrared rate than any other sauna. It's got a one-year warranty. Everyone who gets the relaxed sauna, not everyone, but most people, are more than pleased, and I have had uh, dozens of people come to me and said it's the invest, best investment for their health they have ever made, and this includes many functional medicine doctors. So, thank you. Thank you very much for attending. My name is Phil Wilson. My cell phone is 626-200-8454. My email is phil at relaxsaunas with an S dot com, relaxsaunas dot com. If you have any questions, call me, email me, or go to the website and use the, the discount code Phil. You'll get $50 off. Thank you very much, everyone, for attending. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And thank you for showing up. Did you enjoy the, the talk? Yes. Yes, <laughs> very much. Yeah, thank you. Well, come come on downstairs at booth 407. Yeah, we, and, have, we, good. Have, we do have more saunas down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. we got five down there, or six. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Thank you for showing up. Great presentation. Yeah, it was fun. It definitely was. <laughs> Like I said, I, I was very interested in, in wanting to know what was going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> I noticed that. You were waiting. <laughs> Took you about, about five, ten minutes to get comfortable. Um, I was not comfortable right now. I meant like, like in your flow. Yeah, yeah. But it, uh, <laughs> this is a conference that arises. And there was a study on Reddit.com published February 2017. He says it's a uh, review of the relaxed sauna. He went ahead. There's a lot of research in far infrared saunas since the 60s. Hundreds, you know, at least, at least dozens of articles showing that far infrared will have a lot of benefits. Okay, and so he says, okay, let me get a $200 Amazon sauna and see if it works. And they have carbon panels all around the sauna, and they, they don't have a... Uh, a nylon tent, they have some other kind of tent, and unfortunately they have like uh, corrugated plastic holding up their tents because it's designed a little differently than the relaxed sauna which has a pop-up tent that keeps it sturdy with, and then it has poles. So uh, they have corrugated plastic in there which may be BPA free but not necessarily BPS free. But that's, you know, it's, it's not so much the toxic toxins that may be in the plastic because the far infrared undoes the damage, you know, like the carpet in there is more dangerous than the nylon on the relaxed sauna. The uh, people wear gym, gym shorts, gym sweats, they're all made out of nylon, and they sweat in them, they get hot, and then they say, well, that's nylon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you've got paint in the room, you have, we live in a toxic world. Okay, so when you, according to the research on far infrared, especially out of Japan, far infrared energy antidotes the ill effects 
of nuclear energy, sunburn, and electromagnetic frequencies commonly called EMF. Now, every household appliance generates electromagnetic frequency. Anything you plug into the wall has electricity in it. Phil, yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So all far infrared energies is is electromagnetic frequency. But but see, there's there's there's. There's people who write books and people who write articles and people who go on the websites and have podcasts. They, they say many, many things. Again, remember we talked about beliefs? Yeah. See, and, and, people, and people blindly puppet what other people say, and, and therefore they, they have these fear pictures in their head. And, you know, the Harry Potter series, you know, when you say the word Valdemir, everyone says, oh, my gosh, Valdemir. Well, I like to say Valdemir's little brother's name is EMF. <laughs> and, and whenever, I, I, we, we were at a conference in New York, an integrative uh, uh, health symposium for medical doctors. And uh, well, there was another sauna uh, down the road from us, I mean, like maybe 500 feet away. And they said, oh, that sauna has dangerous EMF. And this one lady who bought two saunas says, I, I don't want any EMF in my sauna. That she's, we finally, Dr. Akpinar was at my booth. He wrote the book, um, No Sweat, No Sweat, The Definitive Guide, No Sweat, No Sweat, The Definitive Guide to Reclaim Your Health. This man is an amazing young man. He's younger than me, so therefore he's young. Uh, there he is at, at an Indian sweat lodge, and, and there's also an Amazon sweat lodge that he's in picture of him. He's a cancer doctor in New York City. Uh, he was voted best cancer a few years back in New York City, best, best cancer doctor in New York. Uh, I think he, he does, you know, uh, a very novel, unique, you know, he's in Little Neck, New York. Contact him, look him up on Google. Uh, he has probably helped us sell about 200 relaxed saunas to his patients and many others. Be, he calls the relaxed sauna the Qigong sauna. He's a Qigong master. He's a medical doctor. He's an oriental medical doctor. He's an acupuncturist and a holistic dentist. So he's got a long uh, litany of, uh, of, of and, and he's also created like some kind of uh, uh, spiritual science institute of um, where they train people to do what they do. And he's very wise, very, very good man, and he, he has results. He gets results with his cancer patients. He's a great man, Dr. Um, Bill Akpadar. He's Turkish descent, um, and uh, he, we have a 15-minute video of him on YouTube or a 17-minute video. Dr. James Onikian works with him. We have about a... 15-minute video. He was a world champion kickboxer about 10, 15 years ago. Uh, Dr. James Onikian bought 10 saunas for me about 15 years ago. He still has them. He has a yoga studio in Hawaii. They use the relaxed saunas in the, in the yoga studio. And they are, uh, again, the, the more aware a person is, and if they get their beliefs out of the way, uh, the more likely are to, they are to totally fall in love and recognize the benefits of the relaxed sauna, and uh, I'll say, for lack of a better word, the superiority of it because of the amount of far infrared it generates. I know there's a guy from Orlando who's had got a podcast, and he says the more f you want as much far infrared energy in your sauna, and that's how to measure the effectiveness of a sauna. Hello, young man. How do, how is the relaxed sauna? Oh, I just it's too early to ask. Okay. <laughs> Your turn, good. <laughs> You're hot? It's good. It's <laughs> we'll, we'll catch you later. You, you, you put your hand up and... All right, good. So uh, it, it's uh, part of the process. So Dr. James Onikian and, and there's uh, many, many doctors. We go to a lot of holistic health conferences. And uh, sometimes it takes, it's what this lady named Rebecca Harder. She has hyperbaric oxygen chambers in her colon hydrotherapy clinic. It's the most beautiful, pristine clinic you could imagine. Everything's made out of beautiful wood. 
She used to have wooden saunas in there. As a matter of fact, she still does. But uh, she would go to the colonic uh, shows, the conferences for 10 years, and she would simply snub her nose every time she saw the relaxed sauna. And finally, after 10 years, she said, oh, what the hell, you know, I'll try it. And she went in, and in three minutes, she was sold on the relaxed sauna because she could feel the difference in the energy coming out of the relaxed sauna compared to the four or $5,000 wooden saunas that she'd been using and promoting for years. She's got eight pages on the relaxed sauna in this book, along with about four or five other pages on far infrared energy besides that. This is an incredible, con uh, uh, com anyway, uh, it's got all this information. I can't think of the word. <laughs> it's, it's a comp, it, it, you know, I can't, it won't come out. Okay, so that's okay. I just have to surrender to it. But it's got articles, compilation, but it's more than that. Um, it's got information, hyperbaric oxygen chambers on ozone. Uh, no, it's, it's different. Uh, <laughs> no, it's all right. It's, it's, uh, it starts with a C, though. Okay. Huh? No. It, it's like... Um, a compilation of all these different wonderful no yeah but it's not that word <laughs> when I when I get the word I'll I'll pop out that is this word because it's I've never I've never not been able to get it out before no we won't worry about it anyway it's got good information a lot of a lot of articles you know all about different aspects of holistic science it's got a couple articles on vaccines and what to do when someone you know doesn't like vex you know thinks vaccines are good and you know how to protect yourself from them and all sorts of stuff but anyway she has probably sold because we we allow uh, certain health practitioners to sell the relax on it to their clients and to promote it uh, and anyway, she is a strong believer in the relaxed sauna and says there's no comparison, or not, she doesn't say that, but she says that the relaxed sauna is the most effective sauna and she recommends it to, I guess, about 80, 90% of her patients, or not patients, clients. It's, uh, um, it's, she's in Portland and her name is uh, uh, Rebecca Harder. Great book. While I'm talking about books, yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, there's 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 a lot of people uh, who yeah there there's a guy named uh, I think Scott Templeton and he and um, there's a famous author uh, Anne Louise Gittleman. Uh, I have testimonies from Anne Louise Gittleman, who's quite famous. Uh, way, way back in the 60s, she wrote a book called Guess Who Came to Dinner, talking about parasites in your food. Uh, and she's written a lot of, about 30 books right now. Uh, and uh, she couldn't believe how much it improved her skin. Uh, and she, she just got it about two years ago and just just raved about the relaxed sauna. There's, there's a lot of well-known uh, authors, well-known doctors throughout the United States who rave about the relaxed sauna. Uh, a lot of people who's, who are promoters of ozone, a lot of people who are promoters of hyperbaric oxygen, a lot of people who are you know, promoters of laser technology. They, there's a lot of good technologies out there. Um, and I was talking about near-infrared earlier. Uh, the near-infrared lasers are, is, is a nice technology. And what's funny is there's the people who, there's something called a near-infrared sauna. And people are saying the near-infrared laser, it penetrates nine inches. Therefore, so does my near-infrared light bulb. Yeah, a dog is an animal and a dog barks. A cat is an animal, therefore a cat barks. See the logic? Uh, uh, a near-infrared light bulb is a near-infrared device. A near-infrared laser is a near-infrared device and it penetrates nine inches. Therefore, the near-infrared light bulb, which is a near-infrared device, must also penetrate nine inches. You know, the, the, the dog is an animal and it barks. The cat is an animal, therefore it barks. No. A cat meows, and I know because I had a lot of cats. <laughs> they don't bark. No, I never had a barking cat. So, so in other words, the logic is 
the, the lasers penetrate nine inches, but the light bulbs, the near infrared light bulbs, penetrate one to two millimeters. Far infrared energy penetrates one to two inches, and then it has a dynamic effect where the, the cell talks to the neighbor cell after one to two inches, and there's, there's a dynamic effect. So every cell in the body uh, experiences the benefits of far infrared energy, which is the pulsating of the water molecules, the increasing of the, of the, uh, of the mitochondria, uh, creating energy, uh, creating ATP, creating nitric oxide, the uh, parasympathetic nervous system being activated, the water cells pulsating, the water cells getting smaller, the blood cells getting smaller, the increase in microcirculation. So there's a lady at the Lyme disease conference a couple years ago in Boston. She has a portable sauna at her house. She's had it for two years. She's been in for an hour at a time. She has neuropathy, which comes along with her Lyme in her case. Not once has the, the little portable sauna helped her at all. I mean, I mean, it's helped, but it never did anything to her neuropathy. She got in the relaxed sauna, and in 12 minutes, the relaxed sauna, she had tingling and she had feeling in her fingers and toes for the first time in two and a half years. And th this, is, this is the difference between 98% far infrared ray and 36%. And this is something when you buy a vitamin supplement, and the vitamin supplement has 100 milligrams of vitamin C, and it doesn't do what the doctor said it would do, and then you find a, a, a one gram vitamin C tablet, and you take three or four of them, and boom, it says exactly what, it does exactly what the doctor said it would do. So in other words, a lot of times, you, with, with the other saunas, you're underdosing. And that's why those saunas sell for two or three hundred dollars and not two thousand dollars. This is a two thousand dollar sauna that sells on the internet for thirteen hundred dollars. And if you go down to booth four oh seven in the corner, the, the far left corner of the uh, room on the left, uh, you can try it and, and they're they're having a, a show special only at the show. Okay? And it's far left. <laughs> but anyway, it's it's it's. Right. Once you go through, then it's the far right. Yeah. Once you go through the door, see. Remember, you know, first turn left, then turn right. <laughs> yes. One and a half to two inches. Yes. Yes. And then it talks to the other cells, so I feel it through my whole body. I've been doing it 18 years, almost every morning, for 20 minutes. And I miss a couple of mornings every month because perfection is, is not being ritualized. Okay? Perfection is listening. And some days it says, you don't want to do it. So I don't do it. <laughs> you know, it's listening. Yeah. You have to be right in front of it, right in front of it, so, because it's a light. It's a light, and you have to be in. It's not like heat that expands all over the, and you can but feel it. Well, I understand what you're saying, um, but it's it's a it's a it's a uh, it's like it's like the TV remote. You, 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 if you move away like this, it's not going to change the channel. Yeah. Well, I thank you for attending the time you did. And uh, who else would like to? Did you enjoy the sauna experience? My water molecules are still pulsating. <laughs> yes, I'm, he, he said his water molecules are still pulsating. Yes, good. That's what we want. And, and then I'll talk about the book Detoxify or Die. Dr. Sherry Rogers is an environmental medical doctor from Syracuse, New York. And around 19, in the 1990s, late 1990s, she ran into a lot of patients with chemical sensitivities who were basically left, to dead, left to, for dead by the medical industry. And she experimented with far infrared saunas, uh, infrared saunas as they're called right now, and found that 
they, they gave them their life back. And this whole book is like 50% of the book is all about the benefits of fire and food saunas and how she says it's the only thing she knows of that gets plastics out of the body. It's the, uh, it's the, the best way that she knows of to get mercury out of the body. And if you want to use it in accordance or in the accompaniment with a detox program, my gosh, it's going to augment it. And so when, I, when we go to all these holistic doctor conferences, I say that the relaxed sauna, whatever protocol you have, that, you, that you've got the best results, then use the relaxed sauna and you'll get better results. If you're, if you're an athlete and, and you've, and, or if you're a dancer and you've got your, and you're a trainer of these or you have a gym or if you're an athletic uh, strength and conditioning coach and you've got your athlete to the best possible position where they're in, now use the relaxed sauna five minutes before a workout, 20 minutes after a workout for a complete sweat, and you'll get better performance. We were at a colonic show in, in uh, Tampa area. Uh, there's a guy who was with some kind of high school and they were doing a home, home run derby contest and, there, and all these other contests, and he got in the sauna for 20 minutes and had a great sweat, and he wasn't even one of the, the, the people who were uh, projected to win, and he ended up winning. And he came back the next day and said, I won. I think that sauna did a lot of good. So we, we get a lot of, you know, uh, testimonies. I was telling you about the lady who had Lyme, and she had feeling in her hands and fingers for the first time. We've had a lot of good results with people with neuropathy, people with cancer, all sorts of diseases, especially the pain and inflammation. We have people who have pain of 12 go in, and, and one lady came out with zero pain after 10, 12 minutes. Uh, if, if a person, I did talk to someone the other day who didn't get much of a decrease in pain, and I was shocked. I was in a state of shock. I said, is this really true? <laughs> and my whole belief system is being shattered. <laughs> but, uh, um, and that's good. When a belief system is shattered, that's good because uh, you don't want to be, you know, for or against any particular belief. But the... Uh, most of the time, I would say that 95, 98% of the time, people who go in the relaxed sauna will get their pain, uh, their pain of an eight go down to a four or a three, sometimes even to a zero. If you have great pain, it's really reduced greatly. So the, uh, yes. Two questions. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I was in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico at a conference called Extraordinary Technologies, and I had a, a tooth pain uh, like of a seven or an eight, and I was even calling up Dennis to see if on Saturday I could find one who could do something. And I, I took the lamp, and I was, I was really upset because it took about 15 minutes for the pain to go from a seven to a one, but it, it really helped a lot. It, it really gets in there. Yeah. Well, there is there is the, the the cancer centers of America don't believe in doing the fire and fred while doing saunas, but they do it afterwards. But I did talk to Dr. Akpinar, who wrote the book No Sweat, No Sweat, and he said definitely, definitely do it while doing chemo, yeah. definitely. And and people who have have found out their hair did not fall out and things like that. You know, uh, you know, not everyone, you know, again, but, but that's what I have been told. I mean, I, I had a pregnant lady 15 years ago, or a lady who had just had a baby, saying she did the whole sauna throughout her pregnancy, and it came out, the baby came out great, and I didn't record her name, didn't know anything, and that was like 16, 17 years ago when I first started promoting the relaxed sauna. And then every, every place you hear, oh, pregnant ladies shouldn't go into relaxed sauna, uh, shouldn't go into far and fred saunas. Well, why not? Well, because you don't want to activate the toxins. And Well, look, the cleaner the body is, the cleaner the baby's going to be. So maybe, you know, during this, you know, you activate it, but then it's, it's going to clean it out of your body. It's not, it's like there's no logic behind it. It's like, okay, mom, this is a, you know, sort of like half of a joke. Mom, you, you take the ham, and I'm, I'm pretty much a vegan most of the time, but anyway, Mom, you take the ham, and you cut off a piece of it, and you put it in your pot. Why do you do that? 
because my mom always did it, you know? You know, and, and, well, let me talk to Grandma. Grandma, why did you do that? Oh, well, the pot was too small. <laughs> yes. Now, Gabriel Cousins did a lot of research. You, you, you mentioned there's 200 toxins in the umbilical. Gabriel Toxins did research. Uh, he did something with zeolite you know, also, but... But he also is a firm believer of uh, uh, fire and fed saunas. And my belief is that if you do the fire and fed sauna regularly, you're going to have a healthier baby. Now, the beautiful part about this, and the reason I'm, I'm, not, I'm coming out and from, from being hidden, because there is a Finnish study that came out about regular saunas saying that it is a myth that pregnant ladies shouldn't go into Finnish saunas, that it's actually very healthy to do. See, and it's like, again, it's, you've got to deal with all this stuff. You know, people say, Nair and Fred's are good, EMF is bad. Well, you know, of, of the 21 most common household appliances, the Relax Sauna generates third lowest 12 inches away and seventh lowest one inch away than any of the other appliances. An iron is 10, 20 times more EMF than the relaxed sauna, a juicer or a blender or a Vitamix blender, seven, eight times more EMF than the relaxed sauna. But when I talked to Dr. Klinghart, I said, Dr. Klinghart, you know, who has promoted, he's, he's, he's one of the greatest holistic diets in, you know, in, the, in, the, in, the United, in the world on Lyme disease, on autism. Uh, his partner just bought, or they bought just two relaxed saunas from us, one in, in July after having bought one uh, in May at the autism conference and uh, Daniela got in the relaxed sauna and she had elbow pain for a year. She got in the relaxed sauna, she took it up to her hotel room and the pain was gone and she took it up the next two nights and then they bought one and then two months later they bought another one and, um, and we have many many other well-known you know doctors who have bought relaxed saunas from us but anyway uh, her elbow pain went away. So I was talking to Dietrich, and I said, Dietrich, people carry a cell phone. See, I carry a cell phone. And then they complain about the EMF in the relaxed sauna. And he says, yeah, I know. <laughs> in other words, what are you going to do? I, I, I was at the Psychotronics convention that, that same, the year before, and this guy says, it's 100 times more dangerous He's had it for 15, 16 years. He's been using it every day. He gets rid of pain. He feels so much better. You know, you have a thousand testimonies on people whose life has been transformed, and people still think that EMF is Valdemir's little brother. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, yes. Well, I just wanted to say that my, uh, my knee yeah. feels considerably better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Are, you weren't scared of the EMF? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
there any benefit to your, um, like having your head? In yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just duck I, your head. That's what I do. I like to you say. Go somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I always keep my head in. Oh, okay. Come out a little bit. We're pro-choice. We give you the choice to have your head yeah. in or out. Yeah. <laughs> you just put a towel over the front. Don't need yeah. to. You don't need to. You can just sink in. Or you yeah. can just load it. I have slouching lesson classes. Uh, slouching. <laughs> slouching classes I do every day at 3 o'clock. Because in eighth grade, they teach you not to slouch. I teach you to slouch so you can get in lower so your head doesn't. <laughs> I literally, I, oh, I'm sorry, I, mean, I didn't mean to take away. You're doing through, good. I'll tell you guys this. Uh, my brother lives um, in Cobra City. And uh, he had this one, you know, that, that cold that was going around. When, you know, he had it for months. We have a, a lot of uh, good you're going to get in, good. We have a lot of uh, mouse to mouse, you know, <laughs> people, you know, refer. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's like it's so exciting to be promoting something with, that, that helps people. I've hardly talked about the spiritual purification. I, I'll probably get there in the last three minutes. Yeah, I'm an 11th hour person, so I always tell you at the 11th hour, yes. Uh, it's, it, there's two kinds of heat inside the sauna, okay? The, the, uh, every computer has a fan in it because the computer chip gets hot in, in filtering, in this case, in filtering out the near-infrared and the mid-infrared, the, the computer chip gets very hot, so you have a fan blow the heat off. So there's the outside heat, but then the energy of the far infrared ray energy resonating with the cells of your body causes the pulsating of the water molecules, see? And that causes the microcirculation. It, it mobilizes the lymphatic system. I think what happens is that either the white cells in your, the lymphocytes in your body are in sort of like hibernation or inactive mode, and the heat in the body activates them, or maybe it births them, I don't know, but anyway, it mobilizes the lymphatic system and increases it tremendously. So. If, of anything I know to mobilize the lymphatic system, including rebounding, I think the fire.